Um, so I've heard you joke before that when you came from Germany to Africa, you were surprised to find that Africa had not been waiting for you. Yes. And uh, I know in those early years there were many discouragements. Um, how did you keep persevering? Because I know there's many young evangelists out there who aren't seeing the fruit yet. Yes. Um, how would you encourage them to keep going? It was sometimes heartbreaking. Um, when I, I came to uh, Lesotho as a young man and I saw that there was no um, acceptance of the gospel, the people were just not interested. I tried everything, everything. They were not even interested in the message that I had. And uh, then when I was praying one day, the Lord spoke to me and said, the boys of today are the men of tomorrow. Try with the young people. I said, wow, how true. The adults of today don't want to hear the word of God, but maybe the young people. So, um, not far from us where we live, there was a high school. And I said to Annie, I'm going to the high school and ask the principal to allow me to speak to his students. Oh, she said, they will never allow you. I said, let me find out. And I went to that high school, I said, I've come all the way from Germany and I would like, I'm a, I'm a preacher of the gospel and I would like to speak to the students and they welcomed me. I had excellent, wonderful mm -hmm. times. I made contact with young men there who, who became Christians, who are, are pillars in the kingdom of God, even today as I speak in Lesotho. You know, so I suddenly was surrounded by young people and uh, uh, have learned this lesson. Um, love makes inventive. And if it doesn't work one way, mm -hmm. try another way. Mm -hmm. And try yet another way. But you will uh, uh, succeed if you persevere.